and we're monitoring the conditions on the ground as well. Meteorologist Mike Seidel live in San Diego and Mike, it has been a record day in San Diego. It has. Get this. Last hour, they had 38 hundredths of inch of rain. That's more rain than they've seen in the past five and a half months in one hour. They're not complaining. I mean, they need a good flush out of the system. Uh, and also, uh, they've broken the daily record by, uh, by a long shot. 0 .09. They're also now a top 10 wettest August day. So the rain is good to see. We had some wind here earlier gusting around 30 miles an hour. Basically, it's a light rain at the beach. Not a great beach day and the rip currents are up. Uh, the swell is running at about four feet. There's surfers out there, but I think they were hoping for something bigger. In fact, there were more surfers out here yesterday when I came out here to Ocean Beach, which is uh, just south of uh, Mission Beach in San Diego. So the water's rolling in. Water temp's about 74 degrees, about as warm as it gets anywhere in California, especially here. It's that cold current that keeps tropical systems away from the coast. We got the remnants like we are today. So the rain continues. The flood watches are out to our east, not here in San Diego because we're just not getting the rainfall amounts. Laguna Peak has had three inches of rain. That's high up. They've also had wind gusts to 80 miles an hour. So a lot of issues in the higher mountains and then on the east side in the deserts, we've had uh, some uh, debris flows and some washes underwater. That's going to be a continuing problem in San Diego and Riverside County. Something else that the drivers haven't done out here in almost a half a year. Can you imagine this? Turn on the windshield wipers, at least to move the rain out of the way. And this is the 8 freeway. We went all the way out past uh, El Chacon and all the way past Alpine, trying to catch some of the wind. We got up to about 3,000 feet, and the winds were gusting around 40 miles an hour. But basically, they were in the canyons, uh, and it was just getting funneled through. So we came back here, Mark, to the beach. And it, again, not the best beach day, but I don't think there's anybody complaining. Uh, they need the rain desperately to cut down the fire danger, and hopefully we'll get some rain up at the Hemet fire, although Palm Springs nearby hasn't had much rain. So, Mark, you know, you told me you were going to come back and work at the Weather Channel after you left this full time. And remember what I said? Yeah, that'll be the day that I'm covering a tropical storm in California. And it all worked out. Careful what you wish for. Careful what you wish for. Uh, and, and Mike, we, we want to not only look right in San Diego, but around the rest of Southern California as well. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the beaches of Southern California. We had to come here to cover a tropical system because there haven't been any named storms or hurricanes impacting the East Coast and Gulf Coast, and we are fine with that. By the way, tomorrow is the climatological peak of the Atlantic Basin hurricane season, and so far, no landfalls, nothing even close. Uh, Earl is on the way out. Danielle is done and nothing in the pipeline for the next week or so at this point. But stay with the Weather Channel. We'll keep you updated. Things can pop up close to the coast, what we call homegrown systems. Here is the impact from what was Hurricane K, now a tropical storm, but not much longer. Tomorrow will be a remnant low, and that's what mostly impacts California. Not a direct hit from a tropical system, but the remnants, because it comes up the coast and runs into the cold current, and it weakens. On the radar, some still some pretty good rainfalls coming in over the mountains of San Diego County, and then on the other side, the east side, where we have the upslope, and that rain is now spread out into the deserts of Riverside County. Palm Springs getting some rain all the way to Riverside. That's nice to see. It's very dry, and also some rain falling over the fire in Hemet, where we had evacuations last night. So good to see some rainfall. Not a whole lot yet. Palm Springs, last check, had about four hundredths of an inch of rain, but we'll take what we can get, also keeping uh, the temperatures down. Forecasting the rain to continue to rotate around what's left of K as it drifts off and away from the coast to the west northwest or northwest uh, tonight and Saturday. So we'll still have the moisture in place tomorrow with afternoon heating. We could have a few pop up storms, but the bulk of the rain tonight and into tomorrow will move north. Get this into Los Angeles uh, into the San Fernando Valley, where right now temperatures at Santa Monica are pushing the 100 degree mark thanks to those easterly winds. So uh, Jackie and Dr. Nab, we started off this morning. It bumped up to 89 at 5 a.m. Their wow. average high is 78. It was like an oven and everybody here is really complaining about the humidity. That's why they don't live back east in the summer, I guess. But uh, we're going to get back to typical San Diego weather come Monday in the next week or so, back in the 70s and lows in the 60s. But uh, in the meantime, rip currents, the swell doesn't look that bad right now. We're talking four-footers, not much higher than it was yesterday.
We see the surfers out there, Mike, that are waiting for that next big wave. We're watching the conditions on the ground with meteorologist Mike Seidel live in San Diego. And Mike, they say, what, a bad day at the beach is still better than a day most everywhere else? And I think this counts as a kind of not so great day at the beach. <laughs> That's true, and it, it, because we're getting rainfall, they've had more rain. In fact, in the noon hour, to the 1 p.m. hour today, they had 38 hundredths of an inch. If you add up all the rain since the 1st of April, it would come up to less than that. So that just puts it in perspective. Over five, five and a half months with barely a drop of rain, and now we get almost six tenths of an inch of rain. We're at number eight, eighth wettest August day on record going back to 1850. They're loving it out here. Certainly after a very hot, dry summer, they've only had 37% of the rainfall this year. They've had about two and a half inches of rain before today. Imagine that where you live, two and a half inches of rain all year. Out here, they average about nine inches a year, but they're still running behind. Behind me is the surf rolling in three, maybe four footers. In fact, I don't even, I see one surfer way out there to the right of the pier. That's about it. There were a lot more surfers here yesterday. And then back down towards the uh, jetty, looking down towards um, north, towards Mission Beach, there's some surfers. But the surf and the swell has not really come up that much. Maybe it's up a foot uh, since uh, yesterday. Let me show you where the real issues have been. Over on the other side of the mountains, the east-facing slopes and the deserts of San Diego County. Look at this, Ocotillo, which is right on the 8 free way there, uh, heading out past El Cajon towards Calexico, and you can and eventually to Yuma. You can see rock slides, mud, a boulder on the highway. Also, we had flash flooding of some of the washes and some of the roads out there. It's very rural. Not a lot of people live out there, and it rains very little in El Centro in those areas. In fact, you know, nearby Yuma is considered the sunniest town in the entire United States. So that puts into perspective how little rain they get and how much sunshine they typically get. Back here in San Diego, the rain on and off, you can see on the radar, we do have a flood advisory for the areas Chula Vista, uh, the uh, El Cajon area, and National City. But the radar doesn't show anything too serious right now, but we could get some additional rainfall. We've had some ponding on the roadways, uh, Jackie and Dr. Nab. And what I've noticed is you watch the water coming down the gutters, and what it's doing, it's kind of flushing out everything that's accumulated on the roads since April. Uh, not a pretty picture, but as uh, some of the locals told me, it's, it's, it's time we get a good flushing out of the system. But the one concern is tomorrow, next day, they're going to check the bacteria levels on these beaches to make sure it's safe for swimming. Yeah, all those uh, extra things you don't really think about, all the oils that have built up for a year that have barely, mm -hmm. with barely any rain, now you get a little bit of rain and all that comes up to the surface. It's like a slip and slide out there. So some traffic issues, Mike, as well. And of course, you mentioned checking the water quality over the next couple of days. Good afternoon from San Diego. We're out here at Ocean Beach. The surf is up, but not incredibly so. It's up about a foot since yesterday. Hey, we got a couple of surfers out here by the pier trying their luck. They haven't had much luck today. Uh, the biggest swell here is, uh, you probably have thought about it, it's in the winter, not in the summer, when we have those uh, big storms out there in the Pacific. That's when they get their big swell here in California. Of course, right now, the water temperature is warmer. It's actually in the mid-70s, low to mid-70s here in San Diego. But the cold current comes down the West Coast, and that's why we don't often have tropical systems uh, impacting this area. And, you know, I meant to look at this, but I don't know if we've ever had a landfalling hurricane in San Diego County. I don't think that has happened just because of the cold current and the steering currents. Radar, we've got some more rain in San Diego County. We do have that flood advisory until 6 p.m. tonight. We still have flash flood warnings out to our east over the mountains and deserts. We've had upwards of two to three, even four inches of rain. And we've had wind gusts over 100 miles an hour. But I took a look at the power outages for San Diego, Riverside, and Imperial Counties. And so far, last check, about 1,200 customers in three counties, which tells me that may be just issues with power and not from the storm and the winds, which again illustrates the fact that most of these winds are at high elevations where few, if any, people live. So we do have the rain continuing, spinning it off the ocean at this point. K, which is Tropical Storm, will be downgraded and it'll be just a renegade uh, retro, not retro, renegade uh, 
system tomorrow. And that does mean moisture will stick around. So we'll have a few more thunderstorms. And Jackie and Dr. Nab, because it's going to sit off the coast, all their temperatures will come down uh, over the next four to five days. The humidity won't. So there is that chance with the heating in the afternoon to get a few storms, primarily over the mountains and deserts, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then after that, we should get back to more typical Southern California weather, uh, sunny, uh, 75 to 80 right here in San Diego and lower humidity. But they have really been noticing and complaining about how hot and steamy it's been. Uh, even the f folks I've talked to who moved here from back east, they know what it's like back east. And they're like, I didn't move out here for this. So you're going to get a break <laughs> from the heat. Actually, I don't think it's going to hit 90 again for a while. And the humidity will come down after the middle of the week. Now they live in San Diego, Florida. Alas, that's where our own meteorologist Mike Seidel has been hanging out because that's where the tropical conditions are right now. San Diego of all places, Mike. San Diego. <laughs> Not on my bingo card. I can tell you, if right. somebody had asked me back on June 1st when the Atlantic hurricane season started, Mark, where would you uh, cover your first tropical storm? There is no way I would have picked California. But hey, we're not complaining. We're just giving you the just the truth. We, uh, we give you the truth here at the Weather Channel. The fact is, everything has been out in the Atlantic, and now things are quieting down there as Earl goes away and Danielle's gone. So we're here in Southern California. Kay has spun a fair amount of rain in here. The mountains have had upwards of two to four inches of rainfall. We've had some mudslides, some rock slides, and washes being uh, uh, running pretty full out there on the desert side, the uh, east side of the uh, mountains here in San Diego County. Also, we've had some cancel Alicia Keys has already canceled her concert twice the past two years because of COVID, and she has canceled the concert tonight because it's an outdoor amphitheater. She's going to get it back in there. You know, she's a sweetheart. And also another uh, concert, Cool in the Gang. Oh, man, I used to play Cool in the Gang music when I was a DJ back in the 70s. Yes, uh, he, they are moving their concert indoors. So if you're going to see Cool in the Gang, uh, they're going to be indoors. Keith Urban is still going to play his concert tonight, despite the fact that it's raining and it's uh, kind of an amphitheater setup. So Mark, uh, impacts on the music industry, and we're going to see what happens with the Padres and Dodgers at Petco. Petco has been around 18 years. They've only had three rainouts, and the last one was five years ago. I think they'll manage to get the game in some way, shape, or form. I mean, we still have a few more hours. Uh, till first pitch. And plus, if you're really speaking my language, not just the ball game, but the beer fest before the ball game is happening as well. So fingers crossed. Of course, we're monitoring all of this on the ground with meteorologist Mike Seidel covering a tropical storm in San Diego, of all places, here in September, the peak of the Atlantic season, Mike, and we're on the West Coast with you tonight. Yeah, 1,800 miles on a jet yesterday, and today we've got the rainfall from K. So far now, six-tenths of an inch of rain at San Diego International, and they had three 3,800s in one hour alone in the 1 p.m. hour. That one hour alone was more rain than they've had in total since the 1st of April, five and a half months. It's a record for the day, the eighth wettest April day on uh, April. Uh, September day on record uh, here in San Diego. Right now, the surf is still up a bit, but we're not talking huge swells. You know, they get the biggest uh, waves here in the winter time with those big storms coming uh, up through uh, the western, uh, eastern Pacific and up towards Alaska, those big gyres. Right now we got four footers, still the rip current issue right on through Sunday uh, here in Southern California. Also the issue, because we're flushing out the system for the first time in months, uh, they'll be checking the bacteria levels on these beaches starting tomorrow. I talked to some locals and they say they do not go in the water here at least three days after they get the first rain or any rain like this situation. Right now on the radar, we've got issues out in the lower Coachella Valley, Indio, Palm Desert, also around uh, La Quinta, those areas. Rainfall, heavy rainfall, up to an inch so far. They may see another inch of rain. That flash flood warning goes until about uh, 6.30 this evening. Also watching the Salton City area. They're under a flash flood warning. These are areas in Riverside County and even parts of, uh, and also parts of Los Angeles County. So keep in mind, those areas inland, the mountains and deserts, Mark, are prime right now for flash flooding. Right now in San Diego, just some light rain, and we're doing okay. Although we have an advisory for another 
about another hour and a half. We're looking uh, pretty good, and it's great to get the rain here. They desperately need it, needed it. They've only had two and a half inches of rain for the entire year until today, about a third of average. Amazing. That terrain really was an amazing part of the story today, Mike, where the interior sections, yeah, the, the peninsula range in particular, just unbelievable wind and rain there. Yeah, but, you know, I mentioned earlier, Despite all the wind and those wind measurements up to 100 miles an hour, just about all those are above where people live on peaks like Laguna Peak. And because of that, I looked at the total power outages about a half an hour ago in Imperial, San Diego, and Riverside counties, and the total was about 1,200 customers in three counties. It goes to tell, show you that few, if any, power outages because of the wind uh, in those three counties. And let's hope the persistent rain and a few gusts don't add to more power outages because you know these trees aren't used to having their roots surrounded by water. Good afternoon. I'm meteorologist Mike Seidel. We are on the beach in Southern California covering a tropical storm named Kay. Can you believe tomorrow's the peak of the hurricane season in the Atlantic Basin and we haven't been anywhere for a named system? We're not complaining. We're just giving you the truth and the facts that it's been one of those seasons. So we come out here and, you know, if you look back at records since 1980, California does get an impact from a tropical system about once a year. It's basically a remnant system, meaning it's not got a name anymore, much like K will be this time tomorrow. And it can cause problems like two years ago, Fausto, remember that uh, in August, one night and the next morning, massive thunderstorms in the San Francisco Bay Area and inland. And it, those dry lightning strikes started over 350 fires. So they do get impacts here. Now, the, the main impact so far today here in San Diego has been the rainfall. They've had six tenths of an inch of rain. That is more rain than they've seen in five and a half months if you add up all the rainfall. Uh, certainly a daily record by far. And I think right now it's uh, still the eighth wettest August day on record. Planes coming in. They had some delays to, today at San Diego International, but few if any cancellations. It wasn't uh, that bad. Winds have been an issue too. Some of the mountain peaks have gusted over 100 miles an hour, but the power outages have been few and far between. Less than 50 outages right now in San Diego County. So gives you the idea that these higher winds are up above where people actually live and the forecast future forecast that rain continues to spin in across the deserts we've got several flash flood warnings some of those go for another two and a half hours these are all east of here and northeast of here uh, parts of San Bernardino County Riverside County out in the desert areas we're getting rain over the Hemet area that's where that fire is one of the fires in the west also Palm Springs getting some unusual rainfall although they do tend to get a few storms during the monsoon season so this is all moving northeast we've got rain out at LAX, moving into LA County, and eventually up to uh, Santa Barbara. So, Jackie, uh, beneficial rain. You talk yeah. about an area that's dry. I mean, can you imagine back east if you'd only had two and a half inches of rain this year? Oh, my gosh. But that's just, you know, this is a Mediterranean climate. They have a season, a rainy season, generally October to March and April. Mm -hmm. And we're keeping our fingers crossed that we get a lot of snow this winter in the Sierra. And we got a lot of snow in Colorado because that melts and comes down the river and gets into Lake Mead. But we, we need a lot of, we, don't, we won't get enough snow to get Lake Mead back up very far. But uh, we'll keep our fingers crossed to see how the winter shapes up. But uh, this is the first rain they've had, significant rain since the latter part of March here in San Diego. In San Diego, uh, although I guess as we bring in meteorologist Mike Seidel, it's also important to note it doesn't take much to have a record-setting day for rain in San Diego. <laughs> Not this time of the year. The record today was a measly for the folks back east and in the Midwest, nine hundredths of an inch. That's it for today as a record. But we've gone way above that. We're now up to six tenths of an inch, and that's more rain than they've seen if you add it all up since April 1st, five and a half months, boy, they needed the rain just to cleanse the streets. You could see stuff running down the uh, sidewalks and in the curbs, it just kind of a wash of the streets since uh, all the dry weather they've had here. The heat, too, has been broken today. It was 89 this morning at 5 a.m. We're now at 73. We take you back out to the deserts on the other side of the mountains here in San Diego County, Ocotillo. 
And this is the town there right off the 8 freeway. And not only we had mudslides and rock slides on the freeway, we had washes uh, filling up with water, water over roadways. You can see the heavy rain that fell here. Some spots had three to four inches of rain. Also, it's running down the east slopes of the mountains in San Diego County. Those are the primaries right now on the radar where we have the flash flood warnings, not here in San Diego County, but the mountains and deserts and then arcing up north and west in the parts of Riverside and also San Bernardino counties. We have warnings, including uh, the areas around Indio, uh, also the La Quinta area. These are the areas that don't get much rain any time of the year. And also we're hoping to get some rain on the Hemet fire there. I believe Hemet is in extreme eastern uh, Riverside County. So putting down the fire danger, but also we had winds earlier. So it's kind of a double-edged sword mark when you when you, uh, when you deal with the rainfall and the wind and you've got a fire ongoing where they had evacuations last night uh, in this morning back here though rain is backed off and we'll keep an eye on the radar but the rain was needed and we didn't have any issues with flash flooding here nor winds in the city itself they were all back in the valleys and the strongest winds higher peaks few if any power outages fortunately did get some reports of trees and power lines down scattered through throughout san diego county yeah, absolutely.